On the heels of the explosive documentary framing Britney Spears, it seems that Britney has indirectly shared her comments on the situation, as well as her boyfriend, Sam Asghari, directly calling out Jamie Spears. And I got all the details right now on IO. I'm Mackenzie, and make sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram, where we post daily news stories. Framing Britney Spears was just released on February 5th, and fans are more vocal than ever about the singer's need to be freed from her conservatorship. The documentary examines Britney's life and career, mainly focusing on the negative media attention that she received, as well as the rampant sexualization of her at such a young age, also covering her publicized breakdown that led to her getting put under the care of a conservatorship, controlled by her father, Jamie Spears. And although so much is still unknown about the conservatorship because of sealed legal documents, it shed light on just how little control Britney has over her everyday life. This led to tons of celebrities vocalizing their support for Britney online, like Sarah Jessica Parker and Bette Midler. But it seems that Britney has just indirectly spoken out about the documentary, sharing a photo to Twitter and Instagram of her performing with the caption, quote, can't believe this performance of Toxic is from three years ago. I'll always love being on stage, but I'm taking the time to learn and be a normal person. I love simply enjoying the basics of everyday life. Each person has their story and their take on other people's stories. We all have so many different, bright, beautiful lives. Remember, no matter what we think we know about a person's life, it is nothing compared to the actual person living behind the lens. But since those comments don't seem to be in line with the documentary, fans think that Britney might have not actually been the person that posted it. Then days later, she posted something else, which I think is even more telling. And it's a video of her showing off a dress with a song playing in the background. But if you listen to the lyrics, I think they really say it all. Quote, they say I'm crazy the way you got me open, baby. They all sit and wonder why this feeling I cannot hide. It ain't a question of pride. These lyrics from the song, It's Love by Jill Scott. And the comments on the post feel that there's a deeper meaning with the lyrics she chose to include. Britney's boyfriend, Sam Asghari, also came out very vocal of Jamie on his Instagram, where he called Jamie a dick that was trying to control their relationship. And Britney's lawyers have been vocal for months that she wants out of the conservatorship. And at the very least, she wants someone other than her father, Jamie, controlling it. With Britney saying that she will not perform again until he is removed. So that's all for the story, guys. Let me know your thoughts below. I'm personally so happy that this came out because I felt like the Free Britney movement had started to somewhat lose momentum and steam in the mainstream media. And it's great that through this documentary, it came back to the forefront where I believe that it belongs. Now I'm gonna shout out some comments from my video on Lil Uzi Vert. So Miss Megan said, can we talk about the doctor who approved this? <laughs> Shake my head. Uh, yeah, no one is really talking about that. I think he has probably gone into hiding now. <laughs> then Corey said, Lil Uzi with 24 million, diamond on his forehead. Mr. Beast with 24 million, homeless shelters have food for a year. This is why we have absolutely no choice but to stand Mr. Beast. I love him so much and he's always doing the right thing with his money. Yeah, 24 million, I, it's a hard number to process just how much it is for like, something this big, like it's ridiculous. Nabiha said, it looks hideous. It doesn't matter how much money this diamond costs. Uh, I agree, I think it looks, I think it looks bad and costs a lot. Some people claim it looks good. I personally can't get on board with that, but agreed. It's just, I feel like for that money, yeah, for that money, you could have gotten something so much better. I, I don't understand it whatsoever. All right, guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you made it all the way here, if you liked the video and want to see some more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and I'll catch you all in the next one.